Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Retro Rewind to your Dolphin emulator on PC so that you can play online in HD without a disc. It's pretty awesome. And I'm also going to show you how to skip all of that and play it straight from Wheel Wizard, which is a new Mario Kart mod manager program that has a lot of good features that makes it worth it for Retro Rewind. I'll talk more about that later. So to get started, you do need Dolphin already set up. If you have not done that yet, I do have a video linked down below. This is my emulator HDD and I'll just run Dolphin real quick off of it. And you do need a Mario Kart Wii ROM. You do not need the disc for this, which is fantastic because you can now play online without it. All you need is the actual ROM, which is a WBFS version. I show you all about that in the previous video as well. But let's go ahead and install Retro Rewind. So, so I'm going to have this linked down below for the wiki. It gives you all sorts of information on the mod created by ZPL. And if you haven't seen, Troy has been playing this mod a lot lately as well. But in the right side, just click on the Google Drive. It'll bring you here, just hit download, download anyway. I'm gonna exit here and go back to the wiki. But once it's downloaded, you can exit the wiki. And this is the Wheel Wizard GitHub page. We'll come back to this and grab it later. We're gonna set up Retro Rewind first. In your downloads folder, you should see the Retro Rewind zip file, open it up. You will need an extraction software like WinRAR or 7-Zip to use this, but here are files. This is actually everything you need for the Wii, Wii U, and PC, so we don't need everything. We are going to grab the Retro Rewind 6 and then hit Control and click on Revolution as well. Now, you can place these anywhere on your computer that you want, but I'm keeping all of my emulation stuff on my hard drive, so I'm going to create a new folder here. Dolphin Mods. And I'm just going to grab these two folders and drag them inside. Again, you can copy these folders anywhere on your computer. You can just put it onto your desktop if you want. But I'm just putting it on my hard drive just for keeping everything organized. Alright, it's transferred over. There they are inside. But now we can exit the zip file and delete it from our computer. We no longer need it. Exit our downloads. And you can head back into your Dolphin emulator. And at this point, I am going to show you how to set it up in Dolphin. But if you plan on just using Wheel Wizard to use Retro Rewind, you can skip this step because you can do everything that I'm going to be doing in Dolphin over on Wheel Wizard. But I'm going to show you guys both how to set up in Dolphin and Wheel Wizard. But now for the Dolphin setup. Just right click on your Mario Kart Wii. Go to start with Revolution Patches. And you should see this pop up, open Revolution XML. And now you're just going to navigate to wherever you put those folders. So mine was on my smash like hard drive, Dolphin Mods. And now these two folders that we transferred on, we're going to go into the Revolution one. Go inside and you should see this Retro Rewind 6.xml. Click on it and press open. You'll get some different options here. And under pack, make sure it's enabled. And then there's also an option to have your own My Stuff folder. So if you're familiar with that, you can go ahead and set that up as well. Online time trials, you can enable that if you want. But the most important one is just pack it needs to be enabled. So let's get it started. You can also save this as a preset. I'm just going to call it Retro Rewind 6 save and then it will add another one. If we move this over, there is another one called Retro Rewind 6. It will automatically you can skip this step basically that's completely optional though but once you're ready just press start and it should load retro rewind all right there we go let's quickly try online sure zpl you can have it you can have my information <laughs> there we go and if you're wondering why this looks so good that's because i have my resolution upscaled on Dolphin. If you guys don't know how to do that, I'll quickly show you how. So if you want to upscale your graphics to play in HD, go to graphics, go to enhancements in the top hotbar. And as you can see, I have mine on three times. Yours will be automatically set to native or auto. It is important to note the higher the resolution, the more performance it's going to need from your computers. So if you have a good computer, mine is decent. I do three times and it's pretty smooth. And then anti-aliasing can make your edges smoother on the objects in your game. So I have mine set to two times. Texture filtering, it's just another visual enhancement. I do two times and I'm pretty happy with how my games look. So if you want to enhance 
your visual experience with Retro Rewind, make sure you have your graphical enhancement set. Close that, and now we are going to set up Wheel Wizard. So if you watched Troy's live stream, he mentioned this app, but the second link in the description will be for this page, GitHub for Wheel Wizard. Scroll down and just get the exe file here. Press it to download. We can exit the browser, open up your downloads, and here it is, Wheel Wizard. Again, I'm just gonna place this in my hard drive. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it, click yes, and then exit downloads. So Wheel Wizard, start it up, and they do warn you on the GitHub page that your Windows might detect this as a virus, but it is completely safe. I have run it before. So open it up, and here it is. Since I've ran it already, there was no warning, but you might have got a warning saying it's a virus. On the GitHub page, there is also directions on how to prevent Windows Defender from detecting a false positive, which happens in the case of Wheel Wizard. I'll quickly show you how to do that. So go into your Windows hotbar and type in virus and click virus and threat protection. This should open up, go down, to manage settings, scroll down until you see exclusions here at the bottom and you can click add or remove, click yes, go to add an exclusion, file, and now just navigate to your wheel wizard and then open it and there you go, Windows will no longer detect that as a virus. Perfect, that is done. Now let's configure our retro rewind. Now technically this app is not needed, but it is fantastic because it shows you how many players are online which is always good to know. So let's configure this, click on config not finished, click on dolphin emulator executable, this folder here, and now we're just gonna pick our dolphin startup file. And now we need to do the same for our Mario Kart Wii game file. So click on that, I have it in Wii and GameCube and Mario Kart Wii, there it is. Open it up and hit save. Settings saved successfully and now we have access to the settings above. You can change your resolution. So everything that you can do in Dolphin, this just kind of streamlines it and puts it all in one place for you, along with the active players, which is cool to make sure, you know, there's enough people to fill a room. <laughs> and then another really cool feature about Wheel Wizard is that you can launch the Mii channel directly from it and go create a Mii for your Mario Kart. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. That's good, our Dolphin settings are correct. Boom. Click install. There we go, it's downloading. This may take a little bit. And it's ready to play. So let's try it out. Click play. Beautiful, we are on. And then you can always keep this open. As you can see, we have more players on now than it was before. And if you click rooms, you can see the amount of players in the room. So it's pretty useful stuff. Let's hop in a worldwide. Look at that, that was so quick. No way, it's Grantham! <laughs> Let's go! If you guys don't know who Bad at Games is, he is a really good Mario Kart Wii player. He actually has the most KO wins on my streams ever. Like, he has a special role in Discord server because of it. He's really good. He's also a really nice guy. But it's so funny that I ended up in his lobby. <laughs> third place let's go but there you go guys that is how to set up oh let's go 104 vr if you guys didn't know look at that 20 sorry 19,000 at the top you can get more than 9999 vr on this one but there you go guys that is how you set up retro rewind on dolphin with wheel wizard you can play online without an actual disc which makes it a really good mario kart wii mod if you have questions comment below if you want to play with me on streams make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for those it's usually every saturday but other than that thanks for liking the video guys it really helps me out and i will see you guys on the next one stay funky and happy modding <laughs>